Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Dave. And on this channel, I love to cover Lego investing, my BrickLink store, and general investments. This particular video, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the BrickLink side of the channel. Specifically, I'm going to share with you a bunch of orders that have come in. I pull those in this week's video, as well as... If we take the Wayback Machine, I purchased a Facebook Marketplace deal for a lot of LEGO friend sets. And I think the whole thing cost me $50 if I remember right. I have been working really hard at taking and breaking those down, sorting through them. It's kind of been the evening activities. So I shared a little bit of that with you in this video as well. And I give you the update at the end, which is like a 95% complete update at this point. Uh, there is still, spoilers, one set that I haven't gone through. But stick around to the end to see what one that is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm covering today. So hopefully you enjoy seeing these orders. Take a look at these sets that I was able to put back together. It did take some work, but man, I think there's some great profit uh, in this video. Before we jump over and get into these orders, though, I would like to ask if you would kindly go down to the bottom, click on that like button, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're getting really close to around 1,500 subs at the time that I'm recording this, and it would be amazing to be able to hit that during the month of sep not September. It's not going to happen in September. It might happen in October, though. That would be great if we could do that during the month of October. So if you aren't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, maybe we'll do a fun little giveaway at 1,500 subs again. It's been a while since I've done one. 1,500 is a pretty fun milestone. Why don't we go ahead and do that? I'll give some thought to what it is that I can do. And you guys uh, add in by clicking on that subscribe button below. Let's go pull these orders. And it's order time again. The printer is still running over there because this is hot off the press. We have an order in here from Matt in Virginia. Matt has ordered 35 pieces across eight different lots for a total of $9.53. Let's go ahead and get Matt's order pulled so it can go out tomorrow. Okay, you guys are coming along for the journey today. Figured I'd do this one a little bit different and try and talk to you while I pull the order. Uh, first bin's all the way up here, $6.89. Um, I have been getting a lot of orders in. Here we've got... Three by three plates. A lot of orders have been coming in. Not a lot of parts being added to the store. I've been kind of slacking on that. You can see I've got down here those last sets that I mentioned parting out. And unfortunately, I have not gotten around to doing that. 1405. We are up here in this bin. And we are looking for... That piece right there, a little minifigure backpack stud. So we got one, two, and one more of those. So yeah, I've been plowing through pieces like crazy, getting lots of orders in. I think over just this last week, I've probably received, goodness, I don't know, if I had to guess, I should add this to my spreadsheet, but I haven't already, drawer 1439. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that I've received at least one to 2,000 part orders, which is amazing. Um, but it's really depleting the inventory. Here we got the 2x2 two two angled pieces. 439 back in there. What's the next one here? 441. Makes sense. It's going to be pretty close. So yeah, we've got a couple thousand pieces, uh, or at least one and a half, that have left the store and I need to get those replenished so that we can stay above that uh, I forget what the number was a hundred thousand I think is what I broke that I was excited about it's so hard uh, the the rate in which it uh, takes to get pieces in there versus the, the rate in which we sell them sometimes can be a little bit skewed 55 how many of these so here we've got three by three in the light bluish gray we're looking for four of these I want to keep it stocked. I do have a couple more drawers down there before I even have to start my next expansion. Been 1545 next. Uh, 1545 right here. So I do want to get these things filled um, prior to, I don't know. 
I want to get them filled here pretty soon, I guess. I don't know about prior to anything. But if I can get those filled, we've got four of these 2 by 3 tiles. Then what I'll have to do after getting those filled, and I've talked about this a little bit, is the next step, which is hot on my list. I want to take that table down, move all this stuff down. I actually might get rid of a lot of my own parts that are stored in those bins. Actually, some of these I haven't even sorted through. And then what I can do is I can take the stack-ons or acromills or whatever we want to call them now and run them all the way down the wall, which won't quite double my space, but it'll be pretty close. Um, it'll probably give me at least another 40% of what I already have. We're looking for this part here, 2298. We're at five of them. 2298, five of these. Uh, which, if I say about another 40%, that should give me roughly another, I don't know, what's that, about 2,000 bins somewhere in that ballpark, which would be fantastic. That does mean, however, that I need to prioritize getting stuff parted out to fill those bins. 340, I need 10 of. This is the problem sometimes when you start stacking these. Talk about this in a lot of videos. Accessibility becomes king. So here we go, 340. That's kind of a tricky one to get to. And we got 10 of them, so I'm just going to grab a handful of these. There are these guys. Let's go back and count. 10 of them. Yep, that's us. Um, yeah, so I, I want to get that done. I want to get the parts expanded. I forget what I was talking about um, in terms of the next milestone. I want to say that my next milestone was going to be around 150,000 is when I would kind of celebrate, have a good time. Maybe when I get to 150,000, I will even make a point to do. And this is why we don't multitask. Oh boy. Back over in the nice safe spot in the basement where I won't unfortunately dump pieces because Lord knows that doesn't happen, right? Anyway, I want to get these parts loaded in. Let's make a goal and say at 150,000 pieces, we will do some fancy little coupon giveaway on the BrickLink store. We're going to real quick go over here and scroll down to our inventory. A little spot check for us. Currently have 104,000 pieces across 5,000 different lots. So we are still above the 100,000. Thank goodness. Let's make a hard push for 150000 and make sure to remind me that we're going to do a giveaway because it might take a while to get that number up. Anyways, thank you, Matt from Virginia, for your order. I appreciate it. Now i got to get this thing packed up. This dude is going to be going to bed. Had to mock up a new tray setup. Kind of excited, though, because this is a little taller than that old table. Unfortunately, the glass and the table broke. So I can't put my bins on top of it to sort today. I am going to be parting out some sets. Hopefully I will get through all of these. I'm not sure exactly how feasible that is. But these are ones that I recently showed in a previous video. We've got a couple different mechs. This Black Panther Dragon Flyer. And one of the small little Disney storybooks. Or two of those I guess technically. And I'm going to give this one a go. I can only get six of the sorting trays up here which is okay. That's not too bad. Um, I'm more excited about the height, so I do have a different bin here to sort so I can get some more pieces in it. I'm going to get these things broken down so that I can replenish that inventory that all of you are so graciously depleting. So thank you all of you for your support. Hopefully you're excited about seeing these pieces come to the store. I'm going to start breaking these down. We have another BrickLink order that comes to us from Justin in Pennsylvania. I almost feel like I might be able to hand deliver this uh, pretty soon here. I'm going to be going out, but that's not the case. So uh, they paid by Stripe, which is a credit card based system. I do accept one item, one lot. It is a cool red Duplo motorcycle, $3.21 plus all the fun stuff. Let's go get this. So... It is an original box. I'm going to guess it's in that guy. I do have to pull these things down when we do this. It could be in that one. I don't know. I'm going to go with this one. Let's see. 
this can always be a little tricky. So I keep the Duplo in the original box. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to come over to this fancy table and see if we have it in here. And we do not. We do have a Spider-Man figure, though, which means it is in the other of the Spider-Man boxes. This one here is much more full. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out so I don't make a giant mess. Here we have it. We got it. It was in the package, too. We've got this red motorcycle here, Spider-Man motorbike. And uh, you can see I got the pieces out. One thing that I want to stress, and this is kind of important just about keeping things clean, tidy, and organized, is the second you get something out. Like, it would be easy for me to say, okay, let's go pack this up and leave this as is until I come back to take care of it later, hopefully. But what might happen is I might get distracted. I might not find my way back. I may not take care of this. And so I find it pretty crucial to ensure that right when you make a mess, as soon as you're done, like I know I don't need to search through these pieces anymore. I need to get these packed up in the boxes, back up where they belong before I even finish this order so that I don't have this accumulating mess everywhere. Anywho, I just wanted to share that with you. Clearly, I need to do a little bit more of that uh, as I bring new sets in, but we got to work on one thing at a time. Really quick, bad audio clip. Upstairs, getting ready to watch some more Office. Kids are in bed. I have been going through that large friends lot that I picked up a while back and parting out the sets, or not parting them out, I guess, but trying to part them back together from the random assortment of pieces. This was the miscellaneous bin. We've got some kind of like a dance studio over here or a karaoke studio. We've got uh, this little medic vehicle. We've got a large uh, private jet over here and we have the barber shop. So these are the next sets on the docket. I think I've put back together around five or six complete sets. And then I've got one or two that are still missing a couple pieces that I haven't located in here. They might be missing, and I might have to go back and rewatch the last video I did where I talked about how to get more value out of your Lego set so that I can get those complete. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and show you that this work is in progress. Let me know if you have any of these sets or if you have been working to put your used sets back together so that you can get some more profit. And we're going to be ending this video by sharing with you the results of all the hard work I've been putting in in the evenings. You've seen some clips of that of me kind of like getting set up to sort through some of these old friend sets that I got as a large lot. I purchased all of these sets for a total of $50 probably three to six months ago now. It's been a long time. But uh, we managed to almost complete 41100. This is actually just a missing briefcase, or not a missing one, a broken briefcase that needs to be replaced. We've got Belleville set number 7583, missing the little puppy. We've got the large Dolphin Cruiser 41015. Had a couple small pieces missing in here. Uh, I had different eyes, but not the dark brown ones. So I do need to uh, try and find those. So that's it for the incomplete ones. We've only got three incomplete sets. I do have this one, 41101, the Grand Hotel. I have not gone through that set yet. So it's possible this one might not be 100% complete. This is the last of them for me to go through. But in terms of complete sets, we've got 41086. I think it's like the Med Clinic. We've got 41006, the cafe or bakery, I believe. 41093, which is the hair salon. 3930, I forget what this one's called. It's like a little birthday party or birthday cake or something. Older set. We've got 41097, the hot air balloon. 41004, I think this is like a studio... Yeah, I, don't, I still don't remember the name of it, but we got that complete. We've got 41036. I think this is Jungle Rescue or something like that. We have 41035. I think this is the Juice Bar Cafe, maybe. And lastly, we have 41037, which is like a little surfer beach house. I think maybe even Stephanie's Beach House, if I recall. I don't remember the name. But that is the results of the work we've done. 
it took a while. Now, oh, uh, missed one set. And set number 5560, which is the pink bucket set. So all of these sets I picked up for a total of $50. I should be able to flip quite a bit of profit out of these. I'm guesstimating at this point, assuming that this is complete. Once I complete these, I'm going to assume that completing these three sets is probably around five, six dollars worth of parts after shipping, as long as I can find them all from a single place. And once I get those completed, I'm estimating that even in the used market, this is going to be around three hundred dollars worth of sets. It did take quite a while, but again, it was in the evening while we were watching TV shows, which just makes it hard to complain about the time spent into it. I guess if you were sitting down to just do this as a way to try and flip profit, buying a set, parting it out, it, it would be a little harder. It does take time, but you can do other things during those time blocks, and, and that's what I do. I just try and maximize the opportunity for me to get into these. That's uh, how we're going to end the video. Wanted to share with you the results of all the fun sorting that I've been doing. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, click on that like button below. Subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, stay in touch with all of our videos. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.